Hi, it's Kai and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another empties. I know it seems like we just did an empties, but it's in reality been like another month and a half and my empties basket is full so let's go ahead and jump right into it i really like empties videos again i like them because it just kind of gives me a overall conclusion wrapping up like the use of that product and how i felt about it so anyway we're going to start off with laundry products because you guys know the basis of a good like fragrance routine is your body smelling good and your clothes smelling good so I like to tell you guys what my clothes are smelling like. My most recent favorite uh, detergent has been the Gain Spring Daydream scent. I love this because it's like a fruity floralish type of scent um, and it's just really nice and sticks around and it's strong on the clothes and they also have the matching scent beads with this. I talked about those last month. Uh, so I have two like I said one of the big daddy jugs as well as a, another like small little jug I also have another downy rinse and refresh I've talked about these two I like to use this instead of fabric softener because it like adds again a little bit of extra scent unless of course you get the like scent free one uh, but it adds a little bit of extra scent gives it a nice rinse and doesn't leave behind a residue the way that you know fabric softener can it doesn't like build up on the clothes I like to use the Lysol laundry sanitizer on my towels and like cleaning you know mop heads and stuff like that specifically because I don't always want to use like a straight up bleach and I just really don't trust myself around bleach I somehow find a way to like even if I try to be super careful with bleach, diluting it, you know, whatever it is, I always end up somehow with like clothes with bleach stains or like spilling it somewhere. And so I like to use this uh, instead as a sanitizer. Um, so I'll put this instead of the regular rinse and refresh, um, you know, just because this again is a laundry sanitizer product um, and I like this one there's a few different scents of this this is the fresh blossom one which is kind of like a it's not like a true lavender scent it's more of like a you know artificial lavender scent if that makes sense oh and I actually have a second one of them so I went through two they, I don't think they come out or maybe it's just near me they have like the bigger jugs but I think they just have that in like the clean scent uh like the original the sport and I want to say like the scent free one I don't think they make like the big jug of this I wish they did because I really like this scent in particular and here are the spring daydream um what do you call it game beads that match the detergent like I said I really like the smell of these and they just last on the clothes really well and another downy rinse and refresh and a third rinse and refresh this is the fresh lavender scent which this one has a little bit more of an authentic lavender like fresh fresh type of lavender scent um so it's not my favorite I usually get this one if my store is like out of the other ones that I like but it's good it's not like too strong on the actual clothes okay and i'm pretty sure we're rounding out the laundry products with some scent beads uh this is the gain odor defense fresh water sparkle this honestly smells pretty similar to all of the other like blue like the downy blue ones the fresh ones the cool cotton like very similar just kind of clean laundry detergent type of scent but i do notice that the odor defense ones last a little bit longer and have a little bit more scent to them than just the regular Gain Unstoppable. So I don't know if there's really a difference between all of the formulations or if that's just in my head, but that's how I feel. Um, the Downy Cool Cotton Scent Boosters, again, very similar. These actually smell identical to one another, so it makes sense that I have both of them. I pretty much just pick whatever is available at whatever store I'm at usually at a store that is having some sort of sale or a 
you know, has coupons or something like that. Lastly, I did try a new brand. This is the Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations Boosters. These are more almost like a little salt. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Epsom salt granules. And this is their Fresh Burst with Odor Boosters. And while this isn't necessarily my favorite scent, like smelling it in the bottle like it smells fresh and clean with maybe a little bit of something more floral it's not necessarily like my favorite thing but on towels especially i really like the way this one smells so there's some things that i like really for towels or like bedding and stuff like that and this is kind of one of them i don't think i've really used it on my clothing itself but i have repurchased them Okay, like I said, that should round up the laundry products. I have here the Baby Foot Exfoliation Foot Peel. I actually really liked this. It is kind of expensive, and I do feel as though there are foot masks that are a little bit less expensive. But this, at first, I was just like, you know, within the first week thinking, ah, I'm not really seeing anything. But by the second week, my foot was like literally coming off in whole sheets basically like you see on the back how it has the sheets of feet coming off that's how it was um so i do feel like it definitely helped with you know exfoliating my feet and resurfacing but i just feel as though like by the end of that my feet are definitely a lot softer um my calluses were you know a little bit less but you can still hear them like this is me scraping one of my nails against the callus like it's obviously still hard so it might be something that like maybe I need to do it more regularly but these are also $25 and I got them with my Ulta points and that's 25 is just a little bit expensive if it were $10 I feel like I could do that more regularly uh, but I really just wanted to kind of give myself a fresh start for springtime at least and it's been helpful because like I said I can ammo pay or you know use the pet egg or whatever else the rest of what I've got going on off but I wish I I wish I would be able to do this more regularly but I don't think I could pay that much regularly <laughs> the rare hair care product this is the Aunt Jackie's oh so clean moisturizing and softening shampoo and while I do think it's definitely softening and moisturizing I didn't find this to be clarifying enough and I definitely had to use a more clarifying shampoo along with this um, because I do have really bad dandruff and my scalp it's a fact of life some people have dandruff some don't some people have psoriasis or eczema and different skin conditions and especially now that I wear my hair shorter you can definitely see it and I haven't been dyeing my hair because I've been thinking about dyeing my eyebrows blonde so I didn't want to dye both um, but I want to wait until Mercury retrograde is over to do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, when my hair is its natural color, it's really dark. So you can definitely see the, you know, flakes in it a little bit more. Uh, so I would repurchase this. It has like a pretty generic like shea buttery shampoo scent. Um, it's nice. Like I said, I feel as though you will if you have a really like itchy dandruff psoriasis filled scalp just scaly scalp people will need something more clarifying along with this i have the sniff big flirt candle which i actually quite enjoyed it was like a strawberry and chocolate type of candle if you were over on my tiktok you would have actually seen when my cats had knocked this over and it got like on my couch and on the floor and i was like cleaning it out and even though it was like spilled in that area and for literal days every time I walked past it I could just keep smelling it and you know sometimes when something spills or you have to clean up something even if it's a scent that you previously liked just being exposed to it will make you like eh, I don't like this anymore this is just too much that didn't happen with this I very happily scooped what I could back into the um container and continued burning it I do feel like it has really good burn time and it also burns all the way down like there is 
not really any wax in this i will probably be able to just you know put this on my wax warmer let it heat up at the bottom and you know wipe out what little is left on the inside so i really like when candles do burn all of the way down um and it's also just a really cute thing i'm definitely going to be cleaning this out to like reuse i think i'm going to use it for like perfume samples i haven't tried yet or maybe ones that i want to full size you know samples or travel sizes i want to full size i don't know but it'll be something along that line because this is too cute of a vessel to just throw out i finished these vitamins they're the nature made multi plus omega-3 for her and i like these the only negative is that it does have gelatin in it and as a vegetarian it's just like gelatin is not you know vegetarian friendly necessarily but I am taking like medications for anxiety and depression and stuff like that and uh, especially when I was starting on them and I'm actually switching to a new one soon but uh, when I started on them I lost appetite like pretty badly so I knew I wasn't really getting my nutrients and what I did have a craving for wasn't something that was like giving me a lot of nutrients so I did have to add a supplement in and unfortunately the uh, a lot of the vegan ones are pills I have a very hard time taking and swallowing pills it's just not my forte and I have enough pills that like I can't break down or you know that can't come in gummy form that I will opt for something in gummy form if it comes in gummy form um so yeah if you have any vegan recommendations I've tried some but they're always out of stock when I go back to repurchase them so these are the ones that I have been repurchasing for the sake of my health in the way of witchy things I have some Florida water if you know you know if you don't don't worry about it I finished one of the mega babe the Geodeo Multi Mineral Daily Deodorant um, and this was sent to me and I did really like this one. It has a nice fresh powdery clean scent to it. My only gripe about their uh, deodorants that are like more creamy in consistency like this is that as you can see and this might be just a kind of like niche type of issue <laughs> if I'm being completely honest but um I don't shave my armpits so you can kind of see I think that like your hair will kind of get caught and pulled out in that and it's not something that's necessarily painful but on the flip side when you do put it underneath your arms you will have it ball up if you do have some hair under there so I'm not necessarily concerned about that. I'm fine with people knowing that I have deodorant on, especially in the spring and summertime. Uh, so again, that's not really that big of a deal to me, but, um, and I would repurchase this or, you know, if they wanted to send me more of it, <laughs> I would gladly accept it. But I did really like this. Um, I had actually tried their deodorants prior to them sending me stuff and liked them as well. So. Um, again, I have another one that I'm using right now that might be one that I purchased myself actually. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, I've in general been using these and enjoy them. Okay, I've got some, I think, body. Actually, let me do this. This is the Native uh, Sweet Peach and Nectar Deodorant and Body Spray. I only really use this as a deodorant. I didn't like spray it all over myself as a body spray, but I did actually really like this. I don't think it would be as odor protecting in the spring and summertime, especially since I'm, you know, here in Georgia. It's hot. It, it's humid it's yucky sticky you're gonna sweat um so I don't know how it will fare I definitely will you know try it out but it's not like the most like longest lasting type of deodorant I often would kind of like pair it like I would put this on at night because I feel like this has really good odor protection and it also has what is this it has baking soda in it so if that's an issue for you um definitely you know be cognizant of that but it also has kaolin and zinc oxide and I think that is for like fighting you know the BO itself um and you know some of their deodorants also have like lactic acid and stuff like that different 
items that can combat your like the bacteria that makes smell and then I'll put this on in the morning because then it's just like oh I don't really smell like anything this is like a good fresher upper and that makes it like last longer um, but I do like this it's a very like sweet artificial peach type of scent and I love those I love any type of peach scent honestly and I will be repurchasing this I was gifted this way the people featherweight um hydrating body gloss and I liked this it doesn't really have that much of a scent or it's like a slightly citrusy herbaceous type of scent so if that's something that kind of bothers you about a lot of the body oils that are on the market and that are coming out they usually smell like a little bit of something uh this might be a good option for you it's also a lighter weight oil um so while it did feel like greasy on my hands as i was putting it on and maybe a little bit more slippery and greasy than i would have completely liked it did make my body have that nice like glowy look but I didn't feel like it was as moisturizing as I needed it to be for the winter time I think that this I would have liked it better if I tried it in the summertime when my skin was less dry but my skin just kind of like soaked this up which is a good thing it means that my it was penetrating instead of just sitting on top of my skin but at the same time my skin was just soaking it up so quickly that like I would put it on and then kind of feel dry a little bit later so um yeah another one that I could see myself maybe repurchasing it for like the spring and summertime because it is a lighter weight oil but then they're in the back of my mind I'm just like you don't need to purchase a product for a specific season like just put on the body oil that you have and like and let it sink in as you do your makeup or whatever else I also finished this body by TPH um Taraja P Henson's brand the watch me whip hardworking whipped body cream it's the vanilla and tuberose scent and honestly this was like it was an okay body cream I don't feel like it was like the most heavy duty type of body cream it's definitely for someone who wants something like a little bit on the lighter side of a body cream it honestly was only a little bit thicker in texture than the body lotion that they also have and I've tried that too um but this does not really smell like vanilla and tuberose to me it's definitely a little bit more of a play doughy type of vanilla um and like i said i don't feel like i'm really smelling the tuberose in it so i don't think this is one that i would repurchase personally i've talked about these i'm pretty sure in the last empties but if you've ever seen any of my empties whether on this platform or others then you've seen the bioma <laughs> balancing face mist i absolutely love this i like to repurchase it i do have a face mist that i think i like a little bit better as far as it being just like a refreshing hydrating face mist but this one also does have like some lactic acid in it and stuff like that so it has like slight exfoliation with it too so it's just a little bit more than just a hydrating spray but it is a pretty nice hydrating spray and I do like that they do the refillable thing I actually ordered from their website for the first time so that I could get one of the refillable uh you know like where it doesn't come with the pump because this is all recyclable recyclable um but the pumps on things usually aren't recyclable so if you can reuse this on a product you know I prefer to so I'm really excited for that and I think they also sell it on Target now which I do have a Target affiliate link and these products that are available at Target will be linked below but of course no pressure to use that link at all it does give me a commission and of course that is always helpful in this economy but again if you don't want to use it you don't have to it's just there um anywho uh the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water for the waterproof I like this I have repurchased it multiple times I actually purchased this little size because I'd taken a work trip at the end of last year and was just like oh I need a little like face wash or something um but I won't be repurchasing this because of the parent company and some of the activities they've been involved in.
in. So I also have this Urban Hydration Kiwi and Pomegranate Micellar Cleansing Water. And this one just like it kind of stung my eyes a little bit, especially if I used maybe like really saturated a cotton pad or my you know facial cleansing cloth or something like that it was okay i don't feel like it was maybe the best for waterproof makeup but for the rest of my makeup it did a good job um you know it did its thing it lasted quite a long time i'll give it that but um i don't know if i would repurchase this not sure i would smell is kind of a little bit headache inducing for me too i finished one of the advanced snail 96 mucin power essences from uh coast rx i've repurchased this a bunch of times but i'm actually using the cream now in place of this because i saw my friend over on tiktok and instagram nefertiti um i'll make sure she's tagged or her ad is somewhere um but she says that the cream is thicker than this but has all of the same ingredients is it and is going to give you all of the same results um and it's gonna last longer so i was just kind of like again in this economy sure anything that is like doing the same thing but i get more of it for less money essentially or you know don't have to buy it as often i'm all there for it this is the hyper skin um hyper even brightening dark stop spot vitamin c serum and my friend on instagram jaya she absolutely loves this and it works so well for her and i'm glad it works for her i got like a little sample um or not sample but like a deluxe size in a little set from what is that like the holidays and stuff but unfortunately the way this smells it smells like elmer's glue and it just makes my stomach turn i literally had to like hold my nose as I was applying this and I forced myself to finish it but just because this is an expensive product and I definitely did not want to waste it but this is not the vitamin c for me I, I don't even know if it like worked all of that well as a vitamin c because I used it so infrequently because I just couldn't use it regularly the smell like smell is very important to me obviously as someone who is a fragrance maniac but uh yeah i i just couldn't do it one of my project pan products wait is that all no let me finish the skincare first and other products um so i finished the black girl sunscreen i've been using this sunscreen for years it's like one of the only sunscreens that works for my face either by not giving me like a cast or by like not making my eyes sting and all of that type of stuff so I just repurchase this over and over again um I usually don't find a reason to stray from it I also finished the way scalp and body scrub I got this with my Ulta points and now that I understand what this smells like like it's the Saint Bart scent from them I get why y'all are always in their comments when they talk about this scent being like give it to us in a perfume because this is a beautiful like tropical floral maybe slightly coconutty but it's also there's something like bright enough lifting and maybe citrus about it too it's beautiful and it would be a hit perfume for the spring and summertime i'm not even lying i too am like uh give it to us give it to us in a um full size you know like a perfume fragrance I did like this as a body scrub. I used it both as a body scrub and a scalp scrub. I like that it is multifunctional. It does have bigger granules, so I feel as though in the hair it like is a little bit more difficult. Like I think it worked fine, but I don't know how exfoliating it was feeling because it was like a larger granule, but I did like this on the body and I liked that because it is a scalp and body scrub I guess that it has a little bit more of a lather to it so honestly you could like put this on scrub your body and then like use this as your like the rest of your body wash if you wanted to um I really like it 
I would definitely buy a larger size of it. I finished the Hi Milk Makeup Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This was pretty good as well. Um, it did maybe fog up my contacts just slightly, but definitely not the worst out of anything. And I do think it did a good job of taking off makeup. Um, again, something in maybe it's just like waterproof makeup and eyeliner for me specifically but it's almost like no matter what type of makeup remover i use even my favorite makeup removers if i use waterproof something like i still will wake up even if it looks like i took off all of the makeup right i do my double cleanse and everything it'll still look like the next morning like i have eyeliner on and like left over so i don't know if that's just like kind of just life as a girly um <laughs> but that's where i'm at but i did like this overall and like i said it did a good job of taking off my makeup without being too oily and greasy on the face or leaving a super bad residue um like even after i've double cleansed because some products do that too i have this little sample sachet of the summer fridays jet lag mask and i really like the jet lag mask i just use this i might I might have started this when I went on a trip and then I was just like oh it's open let me finish it or I just like saw it there and finished it I don't know um but I like this I have a full size of it I've repurchased that multiple times so I do like it um this I actually did a quick little wear test over on TikTok of this is the Kosas their uh, revealer foundation and this is the shade medium deep with neutral undertones the shade 360 um and overall I liked this I do feel like it accentuated my pores just a little bit but it's definitely something that was like nice skin like had a little bit of glow to it and I could see myself at least trying to sample it again you know maybe going to Sephora and, and asking for them to give me a little sample because I do think it had like a pretty finish and if my pores which are again just kind of a natural fact of life if texture on my skin is going to keep me from a foundation that looks really pretty otherwise then like is that really a good reason to not buy a foundation or a product that I think looks really pretty just because my skin has texture like every person's does I also finished this Olive in June cuticle serum with cactus flower. I really, really like this and will be repurchasing it. I always like to do it, like just run it on my, it's like one of these brush tip or not brush tip, like spongy tip type of things. Um, and I just liked running it on my cuticles, especially after a, uh, you know, I switched out my manicure and, um, Honestly, my cuticles have been looking a little bit rough since I haven't repurchased this yet. So I definitely need to pick another one up. And it's just good to refresh the cuticles like when my manicure is starting to grow out. I'm starting to see my, you know, the cuticle skin coming up and stuff like that. This just helps smooth things over, soften things up uh, until I can do my next, you know. What is that called? Nail application. Why am I doing this? I finished the Bubble Water Slide Hydration Boosting Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. This was a really nice hydrating serum. I would say it's very similar in texture to a lot of hydrating serums in that it's like not super liquidy. It kind of has a slightly viscous and milky-ish texture. Um... It, it's good I would definitely repurchase it it's just with bubble products I can never tell how close I am to finishing them and I like the packaging I think the packaging is so cute but it's just like every single time I think I have a lot more product left than I do and then I'll just like do a little thing and I'll be like where is all of the product so um that's my only gripe about bubble products in general even though I love the packaging I also finished the Coco Kine Ceramide Barrier Serum, which I need to repurchase because I do feel as though my skin has been hurting a little bit without this. It's another product that I've talked about over and over and over again, emptied over and over again. And they actually recently came out with a larger size of it, like a jumbo size. So I think I'm going to 
buy that the next time I purchase it because I just run through this so often like every time I have it it lasts maybe a month and a week or so just because it's in my routine for pretty much every routine you know it's just one of those things that is a staple and um I don't I didn't repurchase it because I have some other skincare that I'm trying to finish up but I feel like I just need to go ahead and repurchase. I finished the Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist from e.l.f. Apparently this is supposed to be a matte setting mist. I don't think it's like the most matte thing out there. Um, I do feel like it can kind of feel a little dry though and that is because alcohol is the second ingredient in here and I know that like alcohol is used to help the makeup like actually set but there's some uh formulations I'll say where I can more readily feel a little bit of dryness so even though this wasn't super mattifying it did feel dry but I do feel like my makeup was set pretty nice though so maybe I would try another one like they just came out with their power grip setting spray which I'm sure is like a make milk makeup hydro grip setting spray dupe uh, but I might trade that one next because I personally like something that is not only a little bit dewier but is also not going to make my skin drier. And then I finished four Project Pan products and I'm going to do a Project Pan update so I'll run through these quickly. But I finished the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint, the uh, Bite Beauty Chai Amuse Bouche Lipstick, uh, and the... Persona Cosmetics Brown 24-7 liner as well as the KVD Beauty Translucent um, Powder. So again, I'm going to do a separate video for a Project Pan update on these. Also in the way of makeup, I did finish one of my favorite dark red liners and this is NYX um, Dark Red Retractable Lip Liner and it's just a really nice like it's not berry red, it's not quite brick, but it, it's just a deeper classic red I would say um, and it just goes with a lot of my red lipsticks. I like a red that has a little bit more of a deeper outline and then like the rest of the lip is a super bright red um, so I do need to like I have one red lip liner but it's not the shade of red so I actually do need to repurchase it or something similar because I don't know if they still have these. And then lastly perfume finishes. I finished this sample of Opus Corey from Wilhelm Perfumery. This is definitely something that is on my repurchase slash full size slash whatever size I can afford to get list. I love it. It's a very like clean fresh scent. It smells like mmm there's nothing in here and I'm trying to smell it but it smells just like a high-end nice hotel spa or something it's great I also finished a decant from one of my fragrance friends over on uh tiktok their yogi sleepless scent you probably watch uh her if you've watched me um and it was ginger from scent trunk and I actually have already purchased a traveler size of it I want to eventually purchase the full size but I feel like I just need to kind of rein it in. Number one, I have some other financial priorities outside of buying full size fragrances, but I feel like I just have a lot of full size fragrances right now and I need to start running through some of them. Uh, and lastly, this one is definitely one that I want to purchase and I don't think they have a travel size outside of through Scentbird, so I might have to get a full size if I do want to purchase it um, or just get another Scentbird decant. But this is Sanctuary Soala Asian Unicorn and this is the most beautiful pineapple musky like it just smells like you were eating pineapple and it was dripping down your hands. It is incredible I love this one so much Scentbird please bring this packaging back but oh it's like I said pineapple-y and musky and it's just so beautiful again this is definitely a full-size worthy one for me anyway that is it for all of my empties from the last like month and a half so we had a lot going on maybe next time I will do an empties before it gets this out of hand but if you watched all the way through I appreciate you and I will talk to you guys in the next one because I'm actually uh, need to hop on a meeting soon I was filming this during a break